Hey y'all, welcome back. On number four, we've got a word problem here. It says the radius of the sun is approximately 10 to the ninth meters and the radius of an oxygen atom is approximately 10 to the negative 12th meter. The radius of the sun is approximately how many times the radius of an oxygen atom? So it says that the oxygen atom is 10 to the negative 12th meter. So very, very small. Okay, so point zero, 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 uh, I lost track. But anyway, it's a very small number. Okay, and it says how many times bigger is the sun than that? Which obviously the sun is very big. Um, so we're going to say like it's times something equals 10 to the ninth. If you want to put an x here, that's fine. Um, but basically, what you need to do is figure out what do I need to multiply to get from 10 to the negative 12th to 10 to the ninth. Now one thing to keep in mind here is that if we're trying to solve, and I'll just go ahead and make that an x. If we're trying to solve for x here, we've got something times x equals something else. And so we can use what is known as the multiplicative property of equality. <laughs> I had to remember that one. Um, that basically allows you to perform any operation to an equation as long as you perform the same operation to both sides of the equation. So what I really want to do here is I'm going to divide both sides by 10 to the negative 12. Now this is going to leave us with essentially our answer, but not simplified. Here we go. Uh, we're going to have x equals 10 to the 9th divided by 10th, 10 to the negative 12th. Well, I'm really struggling to say that today. So here we've got a um, quotient of two powers that have the same base. Anytime you have that, whenever, like, let's say we just have like x to the a divided by x to the b. Anytime you're dividing powers that have the same base like this, the way to simplify that is to keep the base the same and simply subtract the exponents. Okay, so we're going to use this little property here to subtract and get our final answer here. So this is going to equal 10 to the power of 9 minus negative 12. Anytime you subtract a negative, that is equivalent to adding. So I'm going to change this to 9 plus 12. 9 plus 12 is 21. So that's going to be our answer here. 10 to the 21st power. We're looking at our answer choices here and we can see that the correct answer is E. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.